Hello, everyone. I'm back from my adventure. Uh, what's going on? Why are you all looking at me like that? You know exactly what's going on here, Thomas. You've made us go for a little bit higher, you stupid time Genji. This is low, even for you. You made me have to do your work as well as my own on my branch line. How dare you leave us alone? I never should have trusted you in the first place. But wait, where's Sir Topham Hat? Well, little Thomas, he's been looking for you all this time. But then where in the world is he? Not to worry, I found him! Thomas the Tank Engine! Oh god, you are in very big trouble, Thomas. You have left the railway without informing me. And Mr. Percival had to run both the Northwestern and the Scarlowy Railway. I had to waste all that time looking for you because you had left your branch line and went on a dangerous journey around the, around the world. You are a very disobedient engine. You have caused confusion and delay. But what about Nia? Well, Nia can stay here because I understand her situation. So anyway, Nia, you're welcome to, to make yourself feel like you're at home. Okay, thank you, sir. Wait, what? What's going on? And you, Thomas, report to your shed immediately. But, but nothing. Shed. Now! But I was the first! Actually, little Thomas, my brother, the Flying Scotsman, has already done that. Wait, he has? Yes! Now report to your shed, Thomas, right now! Thomas will be spending the rest of his life in his shed for what he has done, which is forever. Well, that's good, sir, because I'm not even his girlfriend anymore. I'm not his best friend anymore, either. I mean, I hope he never does this again since he's in his shed for the rest of his life. I agree. I mean, he did try to blackmail me by making me take those smelly fish trucks to Vickers Town. Gordon, I understand you got blackmailed by Thomas, but he's still going to be in the shed for the rest of his life, which means Nia, our new engine, will have to replace him and take Annie and Clarabelle on Thomas's branch line. <gasps> what? No. This can't be happening. I can't let this happen. <laughs> Maybe my dream about going around the world was a mistake. This is all my fault. And now, Sir Topham Hatt has sent me to my shed to stay here for the rest of my life until I am scrapped. And during this, he's probably gonna take away my branch line and give it to Nia. I worked so hard to earn my own branch line. I can't believe I'll never see it again. You know what? My branch line is my whole world. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else nowadays. I'm nothing without my branch line. Or my number one. What the? What's that noise? Hello? 
Hello, Thomas. I am so sorry you got in trouble for going around the world and leaving Sodor without informing Sir Topham Hatt and your friends, but how do you feel now? Terrible. Sad and depressed. Look, Thomas, I already heard about Sir Topham Hatt going to take away your branch line and replace you with Nia and and possibly scrap you. I know that everyone hates you now. And so does Mattel. Look, I'll tell you what. How about that I help you run away to the mainland and to London to work there for now on? Hopefully they'll have a new branch line for you. I hope so, Jonathan. That's good. Now then, let's get out of here. Thomas then thought about it for a moment, and he realized that it was for the best, and so he set off on his journey to the mainland. fall through the night till I'm far away and free and when my steam runs out I'll know that no one will find me but things are not the same as before mistakes I make no one can ignore I keep my pain to work looking fine I try so hard to be on time, but I'm not a useful engine anymore. I'm not a useful engine anymore.